they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, we got a real bad man in the building. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let them know who's here today. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Booji 70 God. Well, you know, yeah, that's my artist name or whatever you call me. You know, okay, so when people are, like, speaking to you, like, conversationally, do they call you, what, Booji? Artist. More, more like they call me artist. They call you artist? Yeah, they don't call me, like, Booji 70 God. I mean... No, I'm saying like, say like, I see you in the street. Like, what they? Hey, bougie, what's up? Oh yeah, up? yeah, that's a like, bougie. They want other seventy guys to be there. Be like, yo, bougie, what's up? Wagwan. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> I, clearly, I'm practicing. <laughs> Let me shut up. All right. So before we get into it, we're gonna do a round of rapid fire questions. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You just gotta answer the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. All right. All right. Zodiac sign. Sag. Oh, you a Sag man. Oh, we're going to get into that a little later. What's so bad with Sag? What's not? Sag men specifically, y'all are very toxic. Well, I won't say y'all, but the ones that I I <laughs> have experienced, very toxic. I mean, yeah, we're toxic, but... Okay, at least you, but... Not to the extreme, though. To you? Yeah, to me. Because you're biased, because you are one. No, so, I'm of not. course, you're not going to pay I mean, I don't like I don't like being too toxic because it comes with a lot of shit behind it. Does it? Yeah. All right, we're going to get into that a little bit later. Favorite movie... <laughs> Uh, Titanic. Titanic, really? Yeah. Okay. Is it because of Celine Dion? Nah. Because I know a lot of Jamaicans like love themselves some Celine it's Dion of, real bad. Um, Jack. I like Jack. Okay. Yeah. That's like, so interesting. I like his character. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Titanic. Um, money or fame? Money because you could be rich. Mm -hmm. And locked away, but the fame you're gonna be outside, so you you like your public to everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so my fame. Song of the summer. Song of the summer, I would say um, "Drift" by TJ. Hmm. That's so interesting. When, so, what do you, when it comes to the song of the summer? Do you think it's a song that came out in the summer that's like popular, or just a song that kind of carried the summer that you heard a lot? I mean, that's an interesting question, but I, I would say. If it come out in summer, because we're basing off like summer, mm -hmm. so I would say like from the summer start to the end, mm -hmm. it's a top song from that time period of time. I would give the best song. I didn't even know Drift came out. I felt like it came out a little bit earlier, but I will say definitely help Drift is the the dance. Yeah. No, it definitely didn't come out in the summer because I I when, on when, my when birthday I was in a section. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. When did Drift come out? I don't know when it came out, but that was your song of the summer. Yeah. Okay, so that was your song of the summer. Our, or, wait, I have to give it, but I would say, um, when did um, Taliban come out, Byron? Oh, yeah, that's old. Oh, oh that's old. But all right, but you, but you bumping like drift, that's sure, okay. Yeah. Cool. What's the last song that you listened to before you got here? My song. Bang your song. Lifestyle. Which one? Banga lifestyle. My lifestyle. Okay, yeah. period. Um, is that a new song? Yeah. Okay. Okay, love that's that. My, well, that's my latest song. That okay. Is it? Cause yeah. I thought okay, so I thought that your latest song was Banger Lifestyle, cause that's the oh, last. Oh, no, that's one. what I said, Banger Lifestyle. Oh, okay, Banger Life. Okay, yeah, my bad. My bad. You probably didn't hear what I said. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So we on the same page here. Um, if you had to eat the same thing every day for a year, what would it be? Mm, pasta. Pasta? Yeah. What kind of pasta? Shrimp pasta. Hmm. Okay. Okay, like. Alfredo. Yeah. Okay. Alfredo. Definitely Alfredo. <laughs> okay. Biggest turn off. Mm, everybody gonna say a liar. That's common. Um, I would say biggest turn off is hygiene. Hygiene? Yeah. Like bad hygiene. Yeah, bad hygiene. What's well, like bad hygiene too? Bad hygiene is uh smell. Mm-hmm. And like Things from your matter. I mean, if you don't understand that means. No, I get what you're saying. Like, if you got crusty eyes and stuff. You can yourself, yeah. Okay. So, basically, your image. Like, most people coming outside with their mad dirty and shit like that. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Most people is crazy. Um, Are you a trick? No? I don't know, because you kind of. In some of your songs, you kind of make it seem like you you be spending a little bit. It's just music. <laughs> um, do you have any hidden talents? 
Yeah, I used to play soccer. Mm. Yeah, I used to play pro soccer. Well, not professionally, but I used to play, you know? And you stopped? Yeah, because of music. Because music. of music. Okay. And weed. Music and weed? Yeah. So the weed was slowing you down? Basically, I got addicted, so it couldn't mix with playing soccer because I wouldn't have the bread for do that. I run on the bread easy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. And judging by your left hand, we saw the path that you chose to. Yeah, I'm always smoking. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of y'all that are watching, any athletes, listen, choose up. Make sure you know what you're doing. Um, one artist that you never let date your daughter. From any genre? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh... Six nine. Six nine? <laughs> six nine, yeah, six nine is a, I can't make a person who don't care about other people. Hmm. Feel me? So, yeah, I would definitely say him. And he had a ride too, so. Hmm. That's I would, interesting. I would say him, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a lot, but I would definitely point him out because his situation is totally different from others, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And if you had to make a new rule for New York City, what would it be? A new rule? A new rule. Like, something that you feel like people shouldn't do, should do. Uh, <laughs> the rule. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's I, would the more, I, I would more like to say rule for the police, though. What's that? Stop arresting innocent people. Okay, stop harassing innocent people. Yeah, because I've, I've been through that a lot too, so that's why I wanted to stop. I mean, obviously, not, I, I could mean like, you could drive it, mm -hmm. and you got nothing to do with what's going on in the environment. And they still stop and you. And they still fuck around with you. Yeah. And do that's you? just my fear of what I think should stop. Mm -hmm. That happens to you a lot often a lot. here? Really? Um, when, have you always lived in New York, or did you move here? I live here since um, 2014. Okay, so you've been here like 10 years. Yeah. And before that, where were you? Jamaica. In Jamaica. Okay. So when you came, did you have any type of culture shock about the way that, like, it is? Like, you, the first thing you spoke about was police mistreatment. I mean, yeah. Um, high school. Yeah? What was that? Like? Not to sound like I try to be on anybody's ass, but the way the... I used to see the kids in school with tattoos and piercing and all that. Mm. We couldn't have that in Jamaica. Because if you have a tattoo in Jamaica, you couldn't go to school. Yeah, one thing about it, like, in a lot of Caribbean countries, I noticed, like, y'all are very, very clean when it comes to, like, the uniforms. Like, it's very, like, meticulous about what it is every, that you look like when you every, show up. Nobody want to be talked about. Mm -hmm. So if you leave in school, mm -hmm. you want somebody to look at you like, oh, He's the cleanest guy leaving the school, or she's the cleanest girl leaving the school. So everybody trying to fit in. Mm. Yeah, so everybody trying to. And fit so in. it was like a culture shock coming in and seeing everybody. And it's like kinda... I, I, I wouldn't say a competition, but everybody trying to keep up to what's going on. Everybody was definitely trying to keep. So did you feel like when you came back that there was pressure on you to keep up with them who were trying to keep up? A little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit because to them it's different. But I had to experience for myself. And transferring in in high school, like, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. So were you already making music at that point? Or? No, I started making, um, well, yeah, I started making music here. You started making music here? Yeah. Okay. And what made you start getting into that? First, I used to rap, right? Mm -hmm. so, one of my friends um, used to tell me, like, I should rap. <laughs> <laughs> my accent wasn't that good back then. Okay. So mostly I couldn't do it. And then um, one of my other friends now, he's on his, the one is um, outside right now. Mm -hmm. He told me like, bro, yeah, Jamaican, I don't think you should rap. Yeah, you don't need so to. Just so because you're here don't mean you need then to Then he do. said like, most, they're going to understand them more if you speak to them. So, and then from that day, I started doing um, dance hall. And for my first song, I got booked for a show. And mm -hmm. after that, I never stopped doing it. Okay, so would you what would you consider yourself as now? Like, uh, not a what? Would, well, what trap would you, dancer artist. Trap dancer. Yeah. Hmm. Trap dancer. Are there any other people that would fit into that category? Yeah. Like who? 
every new um, artist, like, who started it, I would say the person who started it is Riding King. Mm, then okay. You, then you got um, Valiant, you got Roger Wild, Skang, you got a lot of them. So, mm -hmm. matter of fact, all the young artists now is mm -hmm. basically a trap dance hall. Because mm. they're not just speaking about what's happening in Jamaica. They're also speaking about what's happening in the rap mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I like it. I didn't. I never really knew like what exactly it was. You mean? Yeah, like what it was called. Most people don't because it's like, it's not a thing. We name it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, dance or reggae. But because we're talking about what rap are talking about and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we just call it trap dance or... Mm. And it's so different now because like, one, I guess one of my favorites... I don't know. Would you consider like, because I know you said Valentine, would you consider like a... Uh, like V6 to be a trap dance hall song? Yeah, most okay, definitely. Okay, I love that song. Yeah, most bad. definitely. <laughs> okay, song. all right, so I like that sound. So um, who were you listening to, though, growing up that kind of, like, helped you establish that sound? I know you probably hear this a lot, but um, definitely Vice Cardo. Of course. Um, of course. Movado. Those are the two artists back then mm -hmm. I used to listen, apart from Barry's Hammond, Bob Marley, because mm -hmm. I like... Reggae music. Okay. I don't listen to dance or music on a regular. Because mm. I do dance or music, I listen to reggae music. So I like mostly old songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for reggae the people songs. that don't know, there's a lot of different types of music that's within the Caribbean culture. You have like the reggae, the dance hall, you have soca. Yeah. What is the biggest difference between like a reggae and a dance hall song? All right. Um, I would say a reggae song. That teach you more about the root of what we're growing up learning. Mm -hmm. Like, they're going to tell you about what modern nature, what their mom used to do, what they growing up doing. And dance all they're going to tell you about what's going Skin on. Out me, boom, exactly. Boom. Those are the type of shit they're going to tell you now. <laughs> so it's a, it's a two different, as I just said, I listen to reggae and daily, on daily, but not dance all. Because if I want to listen something to be, all right, say, more calm mind, mm -hmm. I would listen to a reggae song. Mm -hmm. But if I want to be a vibe, like I want to get high or active, I'm going to listen to a dancehall song. Okay. Because that's a two different feeling they give to you. Okay. And yeah. of course, we can't say Vibe's name without shouting out the fact that he's back home. Yeah, for sure. They Shout freed him. Concert. Very happy to see him. Are you going back home in December for his concert? Nah. No? Got too much work to do. Okay. Career prioritized. I love that. I would love to support him, though, but... I got too much work to do now. Okay, and that's fair. That's my favorite artist, though. Uh -huh. way, so it's gonna be yeah, crazy. I, I already know it's gonna be crazy out there. Yeah, for a fact. Um, one thing I was thinking of on my way here, and I guess you technically were in New York during this time. There was a time where like Bronx Wine took over the whole New York City, and vibes like Half on a Baby, like those type of songs, Egyptian, like those were the songs that we were Bronx Wine to. Were 100%. you like a part of that yeah, wave too? For, for a fact. Yeah. For a fact. I never, I never stop um, dropping the wave. I always keep up to the songs. That's were you Bronx on it? <laughs> I knew you were. I just wanted to see what you was gonna say. <laughs> but did y'all feel any type of like? Was there any thoughts about the fact that people were like Bronx on to songs that you would be like just chilling I mean, and vibing to regularly? I don't know because it's you got different people in the world. Yeah. So sometimes if I see something a different way, somebody gonna see it. So I could be a laid back while they're doing that mm -hmm. and find it not entertaining mm -hmm. while they're on the other end find that shit entertaining as fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even ask you this. Where are you in New York? Like where living? Mm hmm I'm in um, Jersey now. Oh, okay. I moved to Jersey. Okay. Well, when it comes to the boroughs, like what's where, are you repping any boroughs? Or 100% you just... New York. I'm always say that. No, what borough? Brooklyn, Queens, oh, Bronx. Brooklyn, no, for a fact. Brooklyn. Okay, for real. You see, Brooklyn. next time somebody asks you that, you got to stand 10 toes on that. You yeah, from Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. you rep Brooklyn all day. Well, I said Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I think Brooklyn started everything that's going on in New York. Like what? Like with the drill scene? Like with what? My name is a drill scene, though. Um, the drip, for a fact. Clock that tea. Yeah, I mean, are. I think that every place in New York has their own contributions to where we're at now. Like, as, and I think that's what makes New York such a good place because we give and take from each other's borough. I mean, yeah, but most people doesn't give New York that credit, though. Yeah. I feel you. Now, one thing about New York, too, is the New York sound. You know, the Slizzies right now, they got it going on mm -hmm. with the sexy drill. Is that something that you, like, do you listen Rock to music? that? 
Yeah, yeah I like, like yeah, I love rap music. Well, yeah, like rap music, but like you listen to like Cash Cobain and nah, no. I'm a, well, nah, I don't listen to Cash Cobain. Why? Mm -hmm. There's a why. Yeah. Why? This type of songs. Elaborate. It's too freaky. As a Jamaican man, you saying a Cash Cobain song is too freaky? For a, yeah, for a fact, you be saying too many shit like. What? And so do y'all. What do you mean? We could pull up. We could pull up. First of all, we could pull, pull up Banger Lifestyle. And even a Banger Lifestyle, you say a couple things in there. That's yeah, a little freaky. Yeah, well, he be talking on the box, though. He be saying some other shit. All the freaky shit. You're Jamaican. Say. Like, y'all literally say freaky shit every day. Come on, please. I all right, freaky shit from the different way, though. What's the difference? You be talking about eating pussy and all the extra shit. <laughs> okay, so the Jamaican in you is coming out now. What's the. Okay, first of all. The reason why I asked you is because that's a whole that's a whole different conversation. What I was gonna say about Cass Cobain while we on the topic is you know He dope our, though. He dope. He's definitely dope. Yeah. But yeah. you know Armani, the artist? Armani music. You know Armani. I I'll play his song because you definitely know who he is. But he just dropped a song called You and I and it's on uh and he's like a trap dance hall artist. Oh yeah, that, that I was waiting for you to say that. Oh, oh yeah, I know okay, okay, yeah. right, right. I'm like, it's no way you don't know who I'm talking yeah, about. I don't know um but he dropped a song called You and I and it's on a like a cash cold band like sexy drill type beat. And so I was gonna ask you, like, is that something that you would do? Like yeah, for make a fact. music to a beat like that? Yeah, yeah? for a fact, I would. I would okay. I would just share my words. You said you're just gonna change your words, <laughs> yo. That's it. It's crazy because I, I know it's still gonna be like that. It's just not, I guess, not as in depth. But yeah, but okay. So, what are you working on right now as it pertains to your music? Because uh, we gotta talk about you. Now we're gonna. Um, now I'm working on singles, a lot of singles. Okay. And also, um, we're working on a album. Okay, so when are you giving? Like the summer's almost over, so we don't got no song. To close out the summer coming up. Well, yeah, I got a song coming out. Okay. I got a song coming out. Can we get any details on that, or is it just like? Well, we shooting the um the video the twenty six, twenty six, twenty six or twenty seven. Okay. So early next month. That'll be coming out. Yeah. So you have to drop the song with the video. For a fact. Okay. Is it I summer? think where I'm, I think where I'm at at this point. Uh huh. I think yeah, because I look if. I drop an audio mm -hmm. and a video. If you want to listen to me, mm -hmm. you go more watch the video. So you I, think? Yeah, hundred percent. I I don't listen to audio. Okay. Wow. I will, I want to see what's going on. Even when you're in a car. Oh yeah, that's a different part. Now. Exactly, cause I can listen to your music in the car. I don't need to see a visual to it. Like I could listen to it and I could bump it, and it's like okay, cool. I mean, I'm ticked about it. Yeah. I wasn't into that, but. The last song that you dropped was last year, and it was good. Like, and it, it had a good reaction. I I, so I was, I was like, going through some okay legal problems. Oh okay. Yeah, so that's why. Do you have? Are you signed? Yeah, I'm signed now. Okay, so let's talk about that because you said legal problems. Who are you signed to? Boom Tings is right there. My manager is right Boom there. Boom Tings, hey, what's up? All right, so how did that? How did that start up? Um, so basically, it came from through a mutual friend. Mhm. Mm he had uh, played a song. My song, I run them. Mm -hmm. And he liked it. Then he reached out to me. He was like, he liked it, uh, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he wanted to help me to get my career further. Mm -hmm. And it was like, only if you're serious. But at first, I wasn't like thinking about it. And then he keep coming to me like, he sees something in me that I didn't see for myself. And then I keep looking at it like, I think I should take a try. And um, I did, and for the best, it turned out to be the best thing I did so far. Oh, nice. So you like being signed? Yeah. Okay. I love that for you. And yeah, please take a step. We need some music. We need like... No, for, for sure. I'm done with that. Like, well, not 100%, but I could do what I could do. It's right like now. clearing stuff. Yeah, like it's, clearance it's, it's and stuff. Up. Yeah, that's like my a past, really difficult part. My past coming to haunt me. That's it. Oh, no. All right. Well, hopefully you will change me in, so... Thank okay. you. I will. All right. Well, we could, on a lighter note, let's talk about back to this conversation that we was having about sexy drill and what they talk about. Because let's really get into it. Because as a Jamaican man, like I said, I feel like the Jamaican in you <laughs> popped out when you were like, yeah, he be talking about eating pussy. And I, 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 I don't 
don't know, like, kids, if you're watching this, cover your ears, I guess. But, like, what's really the deal with that? Like, why are y'all so against it? Well, I know y'all not. I know y'all not. Y'all like to right. say that y'all are. I like, you say, I like when you say that because, all right, look. Back then, it used to be easy to be like, nah, Jamaican is against that. Mm -hmm. But the, the fact that most Jamaicans migrate, so they started to make it a thing. So most females now look at every Jamaican, oh, he like it, he like it. For me, I, I, I would say this. <laughs> I grew up and I never see my dad did anything like that. My mom never mentioned that to us. She wasn't a fan of it. So I'm going to stick to their rule. So I don't believe in that. And then the most part of it, a female bleed, bro. Like, So? But that's the reason why you're here today. I understand, if we didn't bleed, you would not be born. So it's like, listen, I got a and? problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a problem with it, and that's fine. But I don't look at another person too different if mm -hmm. they do it. I'm gonna look at him different, but not too no, different. No, you shouldn't it. look at him different. Is that something that's like? Has it been a deal breaker for you? Like when you're dating, has anybody been like, "Oh, well, if you're not doing that, then"? All right, for me. Mm -hmm. I think I like to do things fair, right? Because back then, my personal woman couldn't give me head. Mm. Okay. I, I wasn't like a fan of to be like, oh, you have to be with me to suck my dick. I, I don't do that shit. Okay. So well, that is if fair. If a female do it, it's fine. I like, I like when a female do it, but I'm not going to force a female to do it. Because <laughs> okay. I don't want a female to ask me back in return, like, I'm, and I'm not going to take it personal. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, that's fair. But, yeah, I feel like that stigma is just, like, it's so... It makes sense, though, what you're saying. Like, a lot of Jamaicans have migrated, so I guess, like, the yeah, a lot of way of changed. thinking has changed. changed. People... But it's just, like, damn, you're not even going to listen to the music because they're talking about it. Like, oh, nah, 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 for a fact, I would listen to it, but this, <laughs> this, this is the thing. In my head, right, I would say the song is fire. But even though he's talking about that freaking shit. Uh, one of my favorite um, P&B rock mm -hmm. is Lick. Okay. It's crazy, right? That nigga talking about eating pussy the whole song. Yeah. Shout out to PNB. So you're gonna wonder why facts. But no, I don't I just I don't I, I can't speak if I'm fifty years old, sixty years old, my mind could change then. I don't mm. know. But now my young stage I will never do that. I'm I'm just against it. Let's see. Yeah. What did Justin be never say never, but okay. That's why I said down the line I could be holding yeah. what if my shit not working? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make up for it somehow. Exactly. I mean, and if you keep talking like that, I hate to say it, but you never know. It might just <laughs> humble you a little bit. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, but nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, and while we on like dating and stuff, you know, another conversation that's often had with a lot of like Caribbean men in general is like the difference between American girls and Caribbean girls. And so I wanted to ask you too, like, do you feel like there's a difference between American girls? I don't think there's no difference in women. Every woman have the same kind of thinking, right? But I would say the difference is, for me, I grew up around Jamaican girls. So right. I, I think they understand me more mm -hmm. than American female. Mm. So I don't, yeah, that's the only thing I see with it. But American female though, they're more understandable. I would say that. Because they know what, um, what we say now. They know what riding is. Most Jamaican females, they don't do that. Like, but how is, how is that the case if they, un so they're understanding, but they're not going to stick with you. They just understand it. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically. Well, shit, I might be a Jamaican then. Because <laughs> I can understand it, but that don't mean I'm sticking around. I mean, probably not for everybody, but the ones that I know, mm -hmm. that's all there is. Okay, so how has it been though dating? You have these like girls in your videos, you know, you doing your big one. Does any of that affect your dating life at all? <laughs> Used to. Oh, okay. So how do you plan? I mean, I'm assuming you were saying used to because it's in the past. But like, how do you navigate that? You're about to start making music. You're about to start dropping videos again. Like, are there certain expectations that you already set with the girls that you start dating? Yeah. Like what? Like, all right, basically, I'm against emotions. I don't like too much emotions, right? 
So for instance, following on my Instagram, mm -hmm. mad females following me. My girl always have a problem. Why so many girls gotta follow you, shit like that. So I make it not a problem now because I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. You gotta have to understand females gonna follow me. If I go out, females gonna wanna talk to me and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I know my boundaries though in everything that I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Cause once again, you are a side man, so. There's also I get that. that a lot. I mean, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> you I'm, see, that's how true it is. Exactly. I get it a lot. I'm not going to say nah. So uh, another question I want to ask you about is there's this word that a lot of reggae or at least trap, but no, reggae artists in general use, and that's gunman. What is a gunman? Is that mixy? Is that like too federal for me to ask you? Gunman is them around there. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you about is the weed. Because when I went to Jamaica, it was like, eh. But I know that, like, weed is a big thing that's associated with Jamaica a lot of time because mm -hmm. it grows there and all of that. I mean, you got it in your hand right now, allegedly. So, like, is there a difference between the weed that's out there and the weed that's here? Fact for a fact. Which one is better? Do I have to say that? <laughs> oh, we already we already know based on okay. <laughs> yeah, leave it like that. I'm not gonna say that word. Okay. Because I don't want it to cut my ass about it. But there is a difference. Yeah, for a fact, for a fact, for a fact. Okay. So now also when thinking about like what you have planned, we're already halfway, well more than halfway through the year at this point. Mm -hmm. So thinking long term, what else do you have for us? Like we know we have some music coming, but like what else? I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking about um, starting my merge line. Okay. Yeah, I was having a conversation. Me and my agenda. Okay. So and I mean, you got you got that shit on though. I don't, I don't know if we got I a be, feet. We I got a try, feet cam. I, I, I be trying to change my swag a little bit. They yeah. I'm just in like too many Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to change that a little bit. You are giving like New York. Vibes. So like, you got the Godspeed hat on. First of all, shout yeah. out to Godspeed. Vibes. The Black Ups. I don't know. Everybody can't pull off Black Ups. I'm not going to lie. It's my first time wearing Black Ups. That's why they look so crazy. Like, they don't look bad, but Black, you know what they say about Black Ups, right? It gives serial killer vibes. Yeah. But you pull it off well, so shout out to you. Appreciate it. Um, but okay, what's the merch looking like? Like, is it going to have your name on it? Is it going to be yeah, like... Yeah, so I've been thinking about... Um, so, my lady is Boom Things. Mm -hmm. And my name, Booji Seven to God. So, mm -hmm. we was thinking about, like, putting... Um, the boom thing is at the front, mm -hmm. and in the back, we put um, bougie. bougie. Or some of them only 70 because not everybody going to want to wear a shirt with your name on it. Mm -hmm. But but what's 70 that people want to wear a shirt with 70 on it? My 70? Mm -hmm. It's my, basically my label. Not my artist label, my group. Your group? Yeah. Okay. And bougie is just like because you're a bougie? What does bougie mean to you? Mm, bougie mean um, a person who always want to stay on their shit. I not, I not like to be talked about them, basically. Mm. Yeah. So you like to stay on your shit and not be talked about. Yeah, but you're talked about. No, I mean, you're talking to town right I mean, now. I mean, in a bad way. I, for instance, if I come up here looking bad, right? Mm -hmm. People going to watch it. And it's going to be like, I couldn't wear something else for an artist and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I think being bougie is always trying to put my prison myself as you compliment me mm. to get a compliment like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes, you look very nice. Thank you. Um, so when it comes to like any collabs, you, you have like, I think maybe a couple of female collabs. I know you did one with like Jody. Jody Pepper, yeah, yeah that Pepper. was a really, I like that song. Thank that you. was one of the like most popular songs on that album too. Yeah. Um, and are there any other females that you would like, or women, excuse me, that you would like to work with? I mean, yeah, there's one female I would always want to work with because we have like mutual friends. Stardall, I don't know if you hear about her. Stardall? Yeah. I don't think so, but I'll check. Shout I out to shout Stardall. Out to her too. Shout out to Stardall. Um, her, but otherwise, I see a lot of females I would work with, but it's just who fall in place or I mm -hmm. see fit for the time. And how is that? Like, when it comes to collaboration within, like, the reggae genre, mm -hmm. 
and dance hall. Like, how is it? Do you reach out to people? Do people reach out to you? Like, are there politics that are involved in that the way it is I, out here? I think, I think, um, all right, so if you're an artist, right? Like, say, Shensia, mm -hmm. and I'm an artist. If I should, for instance, say, I want to do a feature with Shensia, I can't just go to her inbox. Right. You gotta reach out to a legal team. Of course. And then it's not everybody gonna get a pass to do a song with Shensia. You gotta have to have numbers up the fan base and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly, it's basically going to the, the LA bit all times to get to them. Mm -hmm. Would you do a song with Shensia? In the future, yeah. I can hear that. I like Shensia. I think that would be vibey. I like her too. Um, okay, well is there anything else that you wanna touch on while we're here? Anything you wanna talk about? This is your first interview, so I just wanna thank you for coming here and letting us talk to you. Um, um, but yeah, is there anything else that you would like to talk about? No, not really. No? I wanna show them, I wanna show them um, to Boom Things for sure, shout out to 70, mm -hmm. all of my guys. Um, shout out to the DJ, shout out to um, At 105. At yes, let's talk about that too because you definitely were on 105. I'm sorry that I didn't mention that sooner. Yeah. And there were people tagging you in videos, posting it. You posted it that you were on there. How did that feel to be on the radio out here? It feels like a dream come true because it's something I always want. Listening to artists on the radio, mm -hmm. I always say to myself, when I, if I'm an artist, mm -hmm. I always wanted to be playing on the radio just like that. Mm -hmm. So hearing myself on the radio for the first time, it definitely felt good. And the fact that people actually caught it on the radio is a big thing, too. Because, yeah. you know, with streaming and everything, like, you still have the city's ear. Exactly. So organically, a, as opposed to, like, somebody having to, like, go online and hear yep. it. So I think that that's also that's very, exactly. very dope. And once again, why we're waiting for some more music to come out so that we can have more to listen Wax, to more. in our morning commute. Yep. Um, sorry, but I cut you off. I just didn't want to go without actually touching on that. Um, but yeah, so you were shouting out the radio, shouting out. Is there anybody else signed to your label? No, not, not at this point. Okay, but period. Along the line, we will. Okay, well, all the attention is on you for now, as it should be. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you again for coming. Thank we about you. to hear this freestyle. I can't wait to hear it. Can't I'm a fan of y'all, too. I watch y'all a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, thank I'm, you. I'm tuning into um, the rap scene. Okay, who's your favorite rapper? Lil Durk. Okay, why are you saying like you ashamed to say it? No, that's your too much. I, I didn't know who to choose, but it's definitely Lil <laughs> Okay, if that's your favorite. What you have, you have, all right, top three. Loader, King Von, K Flock. Oh, you're mixy. Yeah, I'm on. I'm, I'm, I'm you're on, like, I'm, you really like into that, into that life. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too much, it's too much rapping. You gotta have, have somebody. I, well, I said K Flock, because if you compare every Bronx rapper to K Flock, he just stand out from everybody to me. Wait, you said if you what if you do what? Compare him to all the Bronx rappers. Then what? He He's like out. the best out yeah. of the Bronx rappers. Apart, apart from Lil T J and A Boogie, they're from the class about them from the Bronx, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. apart from them, it's definitely K Flock. Even though he's not necessarily make like, are you basing it on what he released before? That's the thing. Even his song that he released is still. I don't see nobody who release a song that's still better. Than, they don't do the numbers that he did. They don't do a better song than he did. So I would definitely say still K-Flock. Okay. Well, for those of y'all that are watching, let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree I like with or, that. I like or disagree. I don't Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying K-Flock no, is K the best though. rapper out of the Bronx. Free okay. K -Flock, Free K-Flock. All right. Well, once again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having Can't me. Can't wait so. to have you back here when you drop that music. Most definitely. Thank y'all for watching. Let them know where to find you. Well, you can find me on um, Instagram at Bougie Seven the God at B O U J E underscore Seven Zero G A D. Also, Twitter, Facebook, everything is Bougie Seven the God. I know that's right. All right, we'll see you next episode. All right, Bye. Thank